Alright, hi guys, it's me, Kai, as you can see, we're playing the Stanley Parable. Oh, I'm sorry, how are you day, night, or evening? Whatever time it is for you. Um, I've played this before. A while back on my channel, like a, oof, a good bit ago. And, uh, hold on, I'm looking for a lighter. Itchy. Okay, I guess I don't have one here. But, uh, I played this a while ago, and, uh, I didn't get all the endings. I probably didn't even get close to it. But, uh, The end is never the end, is never the end. But I'm gonna play it again. I don't even remember what endings I got, so we might be doing it again. I'm gonna turn the light off. There we go. The end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. Oh, it's taking so long to load. I'm going to play an out of tune mandolin during the loading. Motivating it, come on. This is in music. Mm -hmm. Taking way too long. Maybe it'll be over soon. Please hurry up. Thank you. Thank you. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Indeed it is. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Correct. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Mm -hmm. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. As though he had been made exactly yeah, it's almost like was happy. It's almost like he's a video game character or something. And then one day something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Mm. Something was very clearly wrong. Uh, are you? Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time.
But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Like this? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay, I got a computer screen. I know there's more than one of those. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. What? Are you sure? Well, what if I touch, like... You're not gonna trick me, I'm not going through there. Yes, that's my name. I'm filming a video. So the only thing that I could think of I'm filming a video. Okay, but anyway, what I'm thinking. Okay. Is you, have, you must be needing more money in there besides seventy five dollars. Yeah. And so when you add it all up, either you're over or you're under the amount that it's supposed to be. That's where you have to add or subtract. Okay. So I don't know what the total is there wasn't in there. I don't know, and quite frankly, I don't care. Okay. All right, I'm just trying to explain it to you. You've already explained it. It's hard to do anything with the confusing shit they gave us. Yeah, they're really clear and front Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all you. that you think an achievement no, is worth? No, I love you too. I can't just give these to merits away for All such right, a A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Five, six, seven, eight. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. Okay. Okay, what? Um, clicking the door 50 times for an achievement. Okay. It's very oh, riveting I'm content. Still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment. Okay. A willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Where's 417? Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Okay. Okay, that's 427. Wait, where is 437? Where's that at? Where's 437? I don't understand. 417. It gotta be here, right? Somewhere. Oh! Excellent! I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Okay, okay. I know where that one is. 
I saw that. That's over here. That's 417. No, go through the doorway. 416, 415. Now, back to door number 437. Okay. Okay, Mr. Narrator Man. We got this. We can do this. Riveting content. 430. 437. Because that makes sense. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? The copy machine. Oh, great idea. Where's that? I mean, the copy machine. Wait. I hate Mondays. Where's the copy machine? Where you at, Mr. Copy Machine? Or Mrs. Coffee Machine, whatever. Copy. Goddamn, I can't speak. Oh. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Oh, okay. Uh, I sort of feel like you're just, like, making me run around now. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Climb. Yes. This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Oh, I can crouch. Does that note say anything? Not that I can read. 416, right? We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! Okay, okay, I like this. Okay, copy machine. Did that door make a noise? I don't have a lighter. That one's messed up, it's not working. I told you. Did you get me a broken liner? I told you it wasn't working. Where was the copy machine? Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! Yes! We did it! Oh, uh -huh. wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now, what were you thinking? You're totally right, dude. What was I thinking? I'm sorry, I'm situating my mic, everybody. And not my mic, my damn mouse. It's being... All wrapped up and shit. Okay. No, it's not. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll proceed with the story. Now that I got my epic achievement. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. On his left? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of Weekly, disbelief, I mean, Stanley decided schedule. to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. Monday, weekly targets again. Wait, admin, sorry. Marketing Mondays, X. Uh, something. 
451's private time. Uh, a question mark exclamation point. I'm bored. Mm, notes. Number of slides on this slide. <laughs> Rate at which charts on the same slide depict the same information. Well, it's very riveting. Rate of increase in graphs per slide. Please, no more charts, please. I'm begging you. Stop, 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 stop. The, pro the boss appreciation minute. Okay. I know I've done it. I can't. I wanna know. Oh, I know I've done this one because it's my favorite thing. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Fine, fine, fine. I'll do it this time. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Mm, okay. I'll follow the narrator for now. Can I open this door? Oh my god, is that the executive bathroom? Oh my god, the executive bathroom. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And what? so the boss this had assigned keypad? an extra secret PIN number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Right. Right. Stanley, Stanley doesn't know this, so let me out. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons yes, on the keypad, at Stanley random. to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Uh -huh. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. What passage? Oh, that one. That passage. Right. Um, anything over here in the darkness? Oh, okay, there was not. Oh, no, I think I've done this one. I actually think I've done this one. Or I've tried to do this one. Done to do the song again? It seems to actually be effective in making it load bigger.
Descending deeper into the building, building. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his, of his job. Why did he feel this now? When uh -huh. for years, it had never occurred to him. Oh, this question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control. If light is on, call exit uh, 914 immediately. Mind Control Facility. Scape. Lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Well, I don't think there's turning back now, so. Oh, cameras? Now the monitors Action? Off, their true nature revealed. Each bore the Fire. number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. What's happening Stanley, there? One of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Why is there red writing on that one? I'm confused. Oh, there's red... Huh. Oh, it's this one. Person? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. It Stanley looks like it. Under someone's control all this time. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Yeah. That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yeah. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? I mean, we never. are listening it was to the narrator right now. Wasn't so. it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire wow, life? Wow, if you fell from this distance. The world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotion. Mind cr Happy control status. Or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over okay. another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. System power. On. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly mm -hmm. the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say... This is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. 
Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of the events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds. Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any idea what your How purpose in this How do you beat this one? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. Oh my god, I hate this. Yeah, I destroyed What, first. Bubba? No. So I'm in the middle of doing my video, Bubba. I'm in the middle of filming a video. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big room and then nothing. No ending. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And okay. believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Oh, 29 minutes. I'll do, I guess, one more ending. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. We're speed running it. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go and up to his boss's office, the room hoping he might find an answer way. there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office.
Why is there just a light? But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why have you... Oh, I think I did this ending too. I think it goes to say how predictable of a person I am. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out And you of know, it's weird because everything looks like no it's like the same thing. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked? Oh my god, you're right. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he was? Whoa! Went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, yeah, I just said up. that. This is all too strange. This can't be real. Right. But at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! He yelled. This is all a dream. Someone spilled oh, their coffee. What a relief, Sandy felt, to have finally found an answer. That's an a nice picture. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. Uh -huh. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy mm -hmm. this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Whoa, then he flying. imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed uh -huh. he hadn't asked himself sooner. What's that? Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Whoa. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. Uh -huh. And when he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he does Whoa, not take responsibility for it? Shit, this is not Stanley a game I should have played high. Right now, as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Yeah, of Did course. the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself, too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. Okay. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake her. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back. Ah, uh, can you open my eyes, The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up. He thought to himself, I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. That's all I want. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. That's right. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be Everything fine. Everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. I am okay. Except I'm not in a dream. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have I'm a Stanley. Please, just someone tell me I'm real. Stanley. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone be Stanley? Ending. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella mm. woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself. 
then collapse dead on the sidewalk. Uh huh. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. Mm -hmm. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. Uh -huh. Then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The right. very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. Mm -hmm. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. Right. And then she turned and ran. And ran? Was it that bad? Did Stanley smell? Okay, maybe one more. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Try this out. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he went to the this one on was his not right. the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Yes, Perhaps he does. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Of course, I wanted to admire the employee lounge. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been mm, worth the detour after room. all, the just to spend a few moments here, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Mm. What's over here? Do not lie, if you're lying right now, stop. Uh, okay. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Mm -hmm. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might find coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Did he? Did he walk upstairs to his boss's office? I'm gonna do it because I want to, but... jam right here. Da, 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 da. Somebody needs to clean this elevator. Yeah, I'm feeling it. This is a long elevator ride. Okay. 
Okay, is this a joke or... Okay. Really? Da, 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 Is it gonna open? Or am I missing something? Hello? Hello? Okay, this song is cool and all, but... Hello? Joke. I don't know if this is serious. So we're going to look it up. It is, in fact, a joke. Haha. -ha. Very funny. Just wanted to jam. What I wanted Stepping to do. Stepping into his manager's office. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Whoa, what there's no mean? humans in here that's stunning. Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, ah. pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, 
Ah, is there anything behind these books? But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? There's In a fact, keypad. This keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below. Uh, I wonder. I wonder so if the, the passcode is uh, two eight four five. Pin number two eight four five. But of course. Stanley couldn't possibly have known. Ah, it worked! By simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, the Stanley sheer luck. to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Whoa, it's newly opened. What is this? Oh, that's the, the way to get down. Right. Okay. It's loading. Yay. I love when it loads. It's my favorite part of the game. This is different. Right. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Or escape. Fine, we'll get the other mind control then. rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Right. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Camera! Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Whoa. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Action. What are you doing, Bob? I'm filming a video. <clears throat> this mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been yep. manipulated to accept it blindly? It's an elevator. No. I gotta, he I'm using it, give me a minute. It. He couldn't accept it. His own life what the fuck is in this someone dead else's screen? control? Never. It was unthinkable. What the fuck was that? Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yep. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Weird. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible bubble pop. I turned it off. Are you proud of me, narrator man? Are you, are you, what's happening? from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley Too reflected slowly. on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? 
what other mysteries did this strange bowman hold? Right. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power it's that so he pretty. was seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Mm -hmm. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Where the fuck is this place? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Mm -hmm. And Stanley was happy. Mm -hmm. I beat the game! Yeah. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna leave this here. So this has been Kai, and I'm saying a bye bye.